Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me, as always. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you together a wee fly called the uh, black and orange now. This is a very old pattern, <coughs> but it's a great lock fly to have in your box, even just for small still waters, early season. I'll just put it on the clip and show you. It's just going to be a slight variant of it. Now these flies are for me. So, eventually, that's, that's the wee pattern there, and I'm going to show you how to put it together. <coughs> now, <coughs> the hook in the face is a Fario size 10 wet fly hook. These are barbless hooks. Um, it's not very often now I would fish for tr uh, trout and when I'm tan flies for myself that I use barbed hooks. So the thread we're going to use to tie the fly is the uni thread in black. You can't use orange or fire orange thread to tie the fly. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. And we're just laying down a bed of thread here. Just down past the point of the hook and remove the waist tag. Now the hook on the base is a size 10. The tail is just some tippet fibers. Golden pheasant tippet. Now these ones here I've dyed orange. But you can just use the, the natural. You don't have to Badan materials. So I'm just taking a wee small pinch off and the length that I like my tail is round about the, the length of the body over the back. So just come around with a pinch and loop. Then a couple of turns just to secure in your tail. Then you can come in and trim this just to the length of the body. The rib is going to be a silver wire. This is just the ultra wire from UTC. Just get a length of this off. Just offer this up to the hook. Come on with a couple of turns just to secure in the wire. The body is going to be a large holographic orange tinsel. Just take a wee length of this off. Offer this up to the hook. Much to the same length as the cutting ends of the tail and the wire. Just trying to keep everything as smooth as you can. You don't want any lumps and bumps. Just do your best. That's what you can do. Right, just going to work this up to there. Then I'm going to come around with my holographic tinsel. Just making sure I'm getting a nice clean turn at the back. And then you're just looking overlapping turns of the orange holographic tinsel of the body. Now the original pattern was first tied. The body was orange floss and the rib it was used then was a oval silver or an oval gold tinsel. We're just trimming away the orange holographic then we'll bring up a rib and we're looking four turns of the silver wire up the body. Follow this around with our thread now, I'm going to work the thread up to the eye, tang in the wire, because that's what's holding the whole fly together, right up. Then you can bend and bring away the wire. And then we'll bring our thread back down. Now the haggle. You can use a, a black cock haggle. In this case I'm using a, this is the, and we're on the last snap of this week cape. This is a, just a cheap Indian hand cape dyed black. So, I'll just take out a slack the haggle here. Offer this up to the hook. Just come around with a couple of turns. I'm going to fold the tip back. Just a bit of balance and braces just. Then come in and break away the tip. And then we're just going to fold the haggle back. And I'm probably going to put on three turns. I like a nice full fly. That's one. Two, three. I'm just going to do this there. Then just keeping a hold of your haggle stem. Just don't let that go of your new to the videos here or new to fly tan. Just follow this around with your thread. Just put a just bring the force the haggle down into the thread, and that gets you right into the stem. A couple of turns will catch that in, and then just come in and trim away the stem. At this point, just fold everything that wants to go forward back. Bring your thread down to the eye. 
just bring your thread back up. Now the wing is uh, you can use crew as used in the traditional pattern. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a right and a left, and this is just duck quill that has been dyed black. Now I've tied a few sort of way traditional patterns before for the channel. And the mistake that most people make, and I make it too, is that you go too broad with your quill. So what you want to do is, is just take your first one off as like a measurement. And you just want it, you just, you're always you're looking slips. Now even that's too broad for me. So you're just looking, you're just looking slips to make the wing. Just tear it away. Then we're just going to match these up. Just tip the tip. i am just got them in my hands. What I'm doing? Just chew on the camera if I can. Got the other quill in. Just put it in between my finger and thumb. To try and match them up. And then once I've got them matched up, I just bring the two, they bring them together like that. And then we'll just offer these up. Now you can have the wing as long and short as you like. That's another thing. That's that's just a personal preference. That's up to you. There's no right or wrong. Now I'm just going to offer mine up, and I like the wing coming back to the the black bar, the first black bar on the tail. Now you just offer them up. Just hold them there. Come in with your other hand, and just gently hold them as close to the shank of the hook as you can get them. And then just come round with a pinching loop and a couple of turns. Now nothing set in stone yet. So you can have a wee look, just to see what way you're sitting. Now, I'm happy enough with that. So, just come in again, just hold your wing at this point. Because you don't want it moving. And just trim away the cut ends of the duck. Quill. Now, same again, just come back in. Hold the wing. You're not holding the hook, you're just holding the wing here. Bring your thread to the eye. then just build up your head and you're just looking to put that shape that we all like to see in the head of a traditional trout fly don't be shy with the head either the fish won't mind now find my whip finishing tool there it is there just come in and just slice in a whip finishing just shaping the head here at the same time Pull your thread nice and tight. Come in, trim away your tan thread. Now, first coat that I put on the head, just a wee drop of super glue. You don't want too much of this stuff. You don't want it running into your wing or into your haggle. So, just take your time. Right the whole way right round. And then once that dries guys, I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish just to seal everything up. So that's the, the orange and black. Now it's a good fly that on the point, early season. But if you want to tie the original, all you do is use orange floss for the body. Use oval silver tinsel for the rib. Just tip it favours, just natural. Um, and crow for the wing. But it's the same pattern, it's the same colour combination. So look, tie a few of those up, hopefully then catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video, I really appreciate it. Um, if you like the wee videos that I'm putting together, and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, it just helps the wee channel grow. And until next time guys, please stay safe, and take lines.